His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Hillary Clinton on accepting the nomination of the U.S. Democratic Party in its general conference as the first woman in the U.S. history to run for the presidential elections. His Majesty the King lauded Clinton's political experience, which enabled her to reach this stage of the U.S. presidential electoral race, wishing her more success. He also stressed Bahrain's progress with regard to Bahraini women's rights and achievements. He hailed success of Bahraini women in serving the community, commending the empowerment initiatives which represented a quality and civilizational change in the history of women's work in Bahrain. His Majesty the King affirmed that Bahraini women enjoy advanced political rights thanks to national legislations which further consolidate women's rights on the basis of equality, equal opportunities and sovereignty of social justice. This His Majesty affirmed that has broadened the scope of popular participation and engaging women actively in political life in Bahrain. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safariya Palace today the Duke of Westminster, Gerald Gro Grosvenor, who is currently on a visit to the kingdom. His Majesty commended the deep rooted historic relations between Bahrain and the United Kingdom and the witness development in all fields. He confirmed mutual keenness to reinforce these relations to serve both countries' interests and their people. He noted the importance of these visits, which reflect the depth of partnership and historic cooperation between the two kingdoms. For his part, the Duke of Westminster expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his care to reinforce bilateral relations wishing further progress. His Royal Highness said the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at the Palace today a number of senior state officials, intellectuals and journalists. The Prime Minister said regional developments that require more actions for countries to preserve their security and stability and to protect their economy and development process so as to achieve the best living standards for their people. He stressed that the Gulf Cooperation Council countries have no interest to interfere in any country's affairs and affirmed importance of taking necessary measures to preserve their sovereignty and freedom. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of periodic meetings among senior officials of Arab states to adopt more initiatives that serve the interests of the Arab nation and protect it from any threats. He said Bahrain is keen to enhance its development process to meet the goals of the government for the benefit of the country and the people. He also added any attempts to distract Bahrain from its goals will not succeed, warning of trails to spread chaos and incite sedition. The Prime Minister noted that the dignity and rights of the citizens are preserved, highlighting the necessity of unity to protect the kingdom and ensure the continuity of its progress. He said loyalty and love for the country is a duty imposed by religion and national responsibility, urging further unity among the people so as to face any attempts of sabotage and terrorism.
Rose, Assistant Undersecretary at the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Huda Fakhru, said that the ministry will commence to construct the construction of Nuwaidrat Bridge as part of the development of Sheikh Jabr Al Ahmed Al Sabah Highway Project Al Ba Nuwaidrat Interchanges, which requires the implementation of the first phase of the traffic diversion in the project through the widening of Nuwaidrat Roundabout as of tomorrow, 1st of August. She pointed out the construction of the Piles and Piles Cup within Nuwaidrat Roundabout have completed, but the traffic diversions is necessary to construct the remaining piles, which are in conflict with the traffic movement around the roundabout. Fakhru explained that the work location, Nuwaidrat Roundabout, will be covered while keeping the existing three lanes. Thus, traffic movement in the roundabout area will not be affected by the traffic diversions.